Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you, if you can't get it to make, then make it make. And today we are going to be making and canning the most amazing, flavorful chicken stock. Okay, normally what I do when making my chicken stock is I take whatever pieces I have. So I have a couple of thighs here and a chicken carcass, and that's what I'm going to be using for my stock. I'm also going to be using a lot of vegetables, starting off with leeks, some yellow onions, a full stalk of celery, some carrots, and a full head of garlic. I use a lot of vegetables because I truly believe it gives the stock a lot of depth and fullness. Okay, now start adding your chicken parts and carcass to a stock pot, getting it ready for your vegetables. There's no exact way to cut your vegetables, I just roughly chop and quarter them. And now adding those fresh, delicious vegetables to the stock pot. And now we can start adding our water. I typically like to add enough water where it's just about covering the vegetables and giving a little bit of wiggle room. Now transfer your stock pot to a stove and bring it to a boil on high for five minutes. Once you have reached five minutes, bring it down to low and let it simmer for about four to six hours. When I'm cooking stock, I like to stay busy in the kitchen. So I decided to go ahead and cook up some pierogies. I mean, I don't like leaving the house when something is on, so why not be at home and be productive? Okay, back to our stock. Now that we're at a full simmer, you wanna check the stock periodically and scrape it for any type of foam. You don't want that in your soup, so I just kinda of swivel the spoon around, um, bringing the foam to the edges and getting what I can. And after four to six hours, this is what you should have. Are you seeing all this goodness? Look how rich and flavorful this stock looks. Now that our stock is fully cooked, I like to remove all of the meat and vegetables, also straining it, making sure it is free from any leftover remnants. If you're interested in making a low-fat stock, place the stock in the fridge overnight, allowing the fat to rise to the top and solidify. That way, the next morning, you can just kind of scoop it out, and then you have a low-fat stock. Okay, now we start the process of ladling our jars. Look guys, there's my husband making his cameo appearance. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that you guys know how to pressure can. So as we go through this, I'm just going to be giving you guys the pounds of pressure and the amount of time that you need. And now we can add our jars to the canner. If you're using pints, you can process them at 11 pounds of pressure for 20 minutes. If you are using quarts, it is 25 minutes at 11 pounds of pressure. I am actually going to be using both quarts and pints and maximizing the time at 25 minutes at 11 pounds of pressure. And there you have it guys, homemade, fresh, delicious chicken stock. <laughs> 